Hey everyone, it's Calvin, also known as Warren. This is Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. This is my first ever playthrough of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. The Pokemon Center actually looks really good. I think I said in the last one as well how I liked how it felt like a DS or a Game Boy screen where everything facing at you, in a way, just like in 3D. And we also have like a version of Nurse Joy. Uh, hello and welcome to the Pokemon Center. We restore your tired Pokemon to full health. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? Yes. Okay, I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds. Just wipe my one Pokemon. Okay, thank you for waiting. We hope to see you again. Hey, you. You got a pretty nice haircut. You look really nice. Did you see that PC over there? That fancy blue one? If you got a Pokemon with you, it's free to use. Yeah, we won't be talking to absolutely everybody. If there is someone who I should have talked to, and you guys think I should have, please let me know. And we can always, like, head back and talk to them. But first, we have to, like, go talk to our mother. Uh, who, uh, yes, is probably a little bit worried. Maybe is thinking, like, when will we get when will we get back, when will we get home? And also, we're going on a massive journey right now. So, like, it makes sense to go back and talk to our mother just before we head off. You know, like, the vibes of the Pokemon game, as I said, are just, like, completely unmatched. Welcome home, Cal. Are you and your Pokemon healthy? Take a quick rest, dear. Thanks, Mom. What's up, Cal? Wow, Professor Owen asked you to do something that big? Okay, dear, go for it. Your mom's got your back. Oh, I know, Cal. I've got something that you'll find useful. You obtained the guidebook. You put on the guidebook in your bag key item pocket. That's a guidebook. Take a look at it when you are curious about something or have questions. During your adventure, you may find an answer. Gee, a journey full of adventure. I envy you, kiddo. Why not come along? Let's do a mother, mother son journey. Plus, you're not alone. You have your Pokemon with you. I wish I could go instead. That's kind of sad. Come on. I'm just joking, Cal. I'll be all right by myself, dear. You go on and enjoy your adventure. Come with me. When you're exposed to new things and experiences and new sensations, it makes your mother happy too. But please come back sometime. I would like to see the kinds of Pokemon you've caught, dear. Okay. Wait, is that... Excuse me, is my little... Did Benji not come home? Oh, no, he's not. Oh, then he must have left already. What to do? That boy shouted about going on an adventure that he bolted. <laughs> That's brilliant, though. He's so headstrong and reckless. I at least wanted him to take this. Not to worry. Cal will deliver that to him. Won't you, Cal? Already, oh, you do that for me. Cal, please take this Benji for me. You obtained the parcel. You put the parcel in your bag. Uh, on uh, Kiaida's pocket. Look at that. The slippers and the, the sandals. Bye-bye, Cal. Enjoy your adventure. Let me think. Knowing my boy, he'll probably head straight to Jube Life City. Okay, please take that to my Benji. Sure thing. Oh, Cal. You're forgetting something important. My hat! <laughs> my hat looks pretty good. Yes, that always did suit you well, Cal. Even the animation is kind of similar to the, to the Game Boy games and the DS games when, like, you would, like... Push someone out of the way to go talk to them. Yes, that that that, that the hat always did suit you well, Cal. Now off you go. Thanks, Mom. That would actually be a really fun Pokemon game, bringing your mother on the journey. You know? It'd be really interesting. There's always, like, a really grounded feeling, though, when you're talking to your mother in these games. Or at least I feel so, anyway. There's, like, always, like, this feeling of, like, you know, they're, they're like, there for you. And there's always something to return home to, especially when you get Fly. It's like, okay, we're, we're, we're sorted here. We have, like, we can go back. Hang out with our mother. What's to say? Dawn's house. We already went in here. We already went into Dawn's house. We have the Pokemart, which we have. We could buy stuff in here, but I don't think we have a lot of money yet. Man, I've t I've said this before, but I'm. This looks again, like I said, it's like it feels like a Game Boy game, but like in 3D. The shells are jammed with colorful Pokemon goods. The shells are jammed with colorful Pokemon goods. Welcome. May I help you? I'm here to buy. I have 8,000. I'd like a Pokeball, please. How many Pokeballs do you want? I'd want... Just give me... Just give me... Uh... Eight for now. Yes, thanks, ma'am. Uh, I'd also like... Just in case I'd like an antidote. I'll, I'll take... I'll take... I'll take ten of these, too. Thank you. I won't take as much Paralyzed Heals. I'll take maybe one Paralyzed Heal for now. Thank you. 
No, I don't want any more paralyzed heals. No, I'm fine. Thank you. Thank you. See you later. So we're heading up to Jube Life City too. But I wonder along the way will we actually get to fight some... Well, there's Dawn waiting for us. Pretend you don't see her. No. Dawn's actually pretty great so far. Oh, that's right. Cal, I haven't shown you how to catch a Pokemon. I'll demonstrate how to catch one, so just watch me, okay? So this is kind of like a common tutorial in Pokemon games as well. Uh, like I said in the last one, every Pokemon game is a kid's first Pokemon game. You know what I mean? Chimchar looks really cool. Maybe I, I, I shouldn't have passed on Chimchar so quickly. The flame tail looks nice. One of the things I love about Pokemon as well is that they're genuinely, like, apparently love fighting. That's, like, one of the things that's, like, always been said about Pokemon. Because, like, like, one of the jokes that people have online all the time is, like, we send these animals out to fight each other. They love it. Like, in canon, Pokemon love fighting. It's, like, one of their favorite things to do. They don't like losing, of course, but they love being in the heat of the fight, you know? Which is cool. Obviously, every Pokemon's a bit different, but... Iconic, by the way, the, the ball-catching animation as well. Very, very cool. See? Isn't it neat? Actually, it's better to lower your target's HP more than I did. It's important to get the Pokemon's HP down as low as possible. A healthy Pokemon is very difficult to catch. Oh, Pokemon also get easier to catch if you make them sleep or something by using a Pokemon's move. Okay, Cal, get you, to get you started, I'll give you some Pokeballs. You tame Pokeballs! You put the Pokeballs in your Pokeball bag. If you have lots of Pokemon with you, it'll be safe for long trips. Plus, it'll be a lot more fun having your Pokemon friends along. Okay. I need to get going. I need to get going. Bye now. We have with when it comes to Pokemon in this game, um, we're not going to discriminate too much. I'm not going to catch every single Pokemon. I'm just saying that right now. I'm going to catch the Pokemon I like. In fact, let's see if there's any Pokemon here that we can catch. I don't want a Bidoof. <laughs> I don't want a Bidoof. Like, I just don't. I just, especially a level two bit off. I, but I, I then again, lower levels are probably good sometimes because it means that we can catch the Pokemon. Um, like we can catch them and they, their stats will be better in the end, I believe. But you guys can correct me on that stuff as well, of course. But a few levels is good too. But we want to catch a Pokemon before we level up too much because then we won't be able to catch any Pokemon. I wonder what Pokemon we can catch in these in these in this grass though. Let's see. If it's only Budoofs, it might be only Budoofs. Oh, and there's just a button to count. Oh, that's actually really intuitive. That's really good. And is it? Wait, hold on a second. Let's let's okay. Let's catch it. Let's catch it. I feel bad now looking at it. Watch this. I won't even be able to catch it. One, two, three. Yes. There we go. We caught our first Pokemon, and it was a Budoof. I think I pronounced that name wrong every single time. In 3D, it looks kind of good. So type normal. Height one foot eight. Weight 44 pounds. With nerves of steel, nothing can perturb it. It is more agile and active than it appears. Would you like to give the bit of a nickname? Of course. Um, so, it looks like, yeah, even though it's not like a chipmunk, I know it's not a chipmunk. There's a, I just reminded this of Alvin and the chipmunks. There was a, a, a girl in my class uh, who was like, who started calling me Alvin the Chipmunks uh, the other day, and it just reminded me of this completely. Before anyone asks, uh, I, I, it's remedial English, is, it was the class. That's the, that's the stuff I, I usually work with. Here we go, our first battle as well. Or our first battle, I suppose, with, uh, a trainer. You're a Pokemon trainer? I happen to be a Pokemon trainer. Our eyes met, so battle we must. That's always a really funny rule. The animation's really cool, too, to go into the battle. Youngster Tristan. I thought it was going to be Youngster Joey. Really cool. Yeah, fine type Pokemon are cool too, but like it's always like a risk I find to have them on the team sometimes because sometimes they're not as great, but maybe maybe I'll find like one that I really like. 
favorite flying type Pokemon I've ever seen, though, is probably... I know it's kind of a pretty basic one, but Pidgeotto looks so cool. Oh, your Starly is in trouble. Let's use Pound. We don't need to waste any more of these. Nice. Very nice. We leveled up too to level 7. That was a good item. Like, again, this is poor. Like, I don't know, man. Like, I, like... Nothing's gonna perturb me. I'm like a bit of now. I freaking love, like, Pokemon. <laughs> I love it so much. The Pokemon uh, that are involved in battle earn more experience points than Pokemon on your team. Uh, so they still earn, they still, they still earn experience points out of your team? Uh, was that a feature in this game? Or did they just add that because that's been a common feature now? I spy with my little eye, a trainer. A battle, please. Sure thing, let's go for it. Let's go for it. There it is, the, 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 the famous animation too. Natalie, let's just be friends. A bit of, I don't even, I don't even know what this thing is. What I love about Piplup so far is that Piplup just like, oh, we should probably heal our, our Piplup a bit. Probably should have healed Piplup out of battle. That's good, yeah, I have, to rem I have to remember to do that. I have to really remember to do that. So we have, okay, so battle, uh, water gun. Whoa, that did quite a bit of damage, Bido. Do you want to back off? Do you want to maybe re reassess who you're with? Reassess your trainer there? My attack may have fallen, but look at this, Bidoof. Natalie, look what happened to your Pokemon. Look what happened. Look at this. Look, see, see what happened? That's what happens. You can't, yeah, they still gain experience, but not as much. A bit of. No, I think we're fine. Natalie, this one's level three this time. Do you know what's happening right now? This one's level three this time. I mean, I respect it. But the thing as well is what I always love about this aspect of the, sorry, I like, I, I trash talk, but like, I'm doing it out of love, okay? Uh, like, the thing I always love about like, the, the earlier parts of the Pokemon games when you meet trainers, is that they usually have Pokemon that are like, from the surrounding areas sometimes, and it's very clear that these are like, beginner trainers too, that have, uh, that are so excited to catch Pokemon, so like, she caught two Bidoofs, you know what I mean? Like, cause it was there, it was around there, and it was easy to catch. Like, I adore that. Oh, I'm sorry, Natalie. Oh, boo, I can't win. Like, that's always a really cool thing. It's like when someone, like, you, you, you're you fighting against, like, a water Pokemon trainer. And they have, like, like, only water type, uh, you know, one second. They only have only water type, uh, Pokemon. Which is always very funny to me. But it makes sense, like, it makes sense because they're, they're, they're hanging out by the water. The UI is really good. The UI is really good. This is a bit of again. This whole like I wonder if there is like a rare encounter here like that you're, we can find. You know, it's like kind of like back in Pokemon Silver when you could catch a Dunsparce in like the earliest of areas. I only know that by the way because I watched uh, uh, a Pokemon playthrough at one point of Pokemon Silver, where they actually caught a Dunsparce in like the early parts of the area. Defense curl, cool. Well done, Alvin. Okay, I'm gonna try a few more times just to see around here if there's any more. Like, if we if we run into a bit off again, I'm I'm gonna move on, I guess. I suppose, but <gasps> yes, okay, a new Pokemon. I, I guess like the the encounter rate for a for a for a Bidu, uh, is like a lot more like it's a lot more common, which makes sense. Uh, let's start off. Uh, I don't know. I think we might kill it outright, so maybe we should like change our Pokemon to Alvin for a second. I think it just makes sense, because, like, again, right now in the earlier parts of the game, we're not really, like, formulating a team so much as we are, like, formulating defenses, I feel like. You know what I mean? It's kind of like we're having... Uh, we're at a point where we're, like, we're creating a... Oh, tackle. It's okay. 
we're at a point where we're creating a team with our Pokemon that is not really like an effective team, but it is kind of like a defensive team. It's like, okay, if one Pokemon goes down, at least in these earlier stages in the game, we have a way to do this. I love the button just to press the, the Pokeball. That's so efficient. It's so good. Yes! Uh, my Starly. Very cool. Starly's data will be added to Pokedex. What is it? So it's a normal flying type. Uh, weight 1. Height 1, sorry. 1 foot. And weight 4.4 pounds. They flock in great numbers. Though small, they flap their wings with great power. They flap their wings with great power. Yeah, we should give a nickname to Starly too. What does Starly look like? Starly looks like, like, they're so done with the world. Um, let's see. Angry. Huh. I don't know, like, it just kind of looks like it's, uh, it kind of looks like, I don't know, it kinda, maybe, maybe just to me, but I'm going to call it Angry Boy. Yeah, angry boy. There we go. Some names will have super cool meanings. Some names will just be names. Let's have a Pokemon battle. But I'm gonna win. Are you sure about that, youngster? Let's reassess the situation in a few minutes, okay? Logan? Youngster, a Shinx? A Shinx? Can you catch one of those? That's so cute! What is a Shinx? Can I have it? Intimidate? Oh, it is intimidating in a way. Like, intimidating the way you want to hug it. What type is a Shinx? Type. Oh, look at, like, the little movement they do in the background, too. It kind of reminds me of the Sun and Moon thing, in a way. You know, they, they're always kind of, like, cheering their, uh, mem uh, their party member on. Or their Pokemon on, I should say. Your Shinx fainted. Now, give me it. This is Battle City rules. You have to give me your Pokemon. <laughs> Can I catch a Shinx around here? I wonder. Was that okay? Okay, let's re let's re let's redo what we what happened here. I walked up here. You were like, "I'm gonna win," and then I'm walking on with the victory. So, youngster, remember this. Remember this day. Let's see if we can catch it. Like, I don't know. I don't know if we can though. No, maybe not. Maybe it's like a more rare pick, maybe, or something. Probably got that Pokemon off his daddy or something. Um, I don't want to become, like, super over-leveled as well, because I do want there to be kind of like a strategic challenge to using types and stuff like that, so we won't battle too much. Um, yeah. But usually with Let's Plays, what happens is, no matter what, there'll be people saying you're over-leveled, and at the same time, in the same comment section, people saying you're under-leveled. It happens all the time. Basically, if you beat a boss in a game that someone had a trouble with, you're overleveled. If you don't, you're underleveled. That's the that's the rule of thumb. You have to. That's that's the way they that's the way they have conversations with you. You're not gonna battle me. Some Pokemon only appear in the morning. Some only come out at night. I'm gonna keep waiting right here till I've seen every last one of them. Wait a second. So. I only record videos in the morning. Am I in a situation where I will not be able to get some Pokemon unless I play at night? Is that the situation I'm actually, I find myself in? You found a potion. Oh my god, that might be a bit of trouble. Actually, no, it's interesting then. It's interesting. We have like a limited number of Pokemon we can catch. You counter a wild Shinx. Go Randolph. Go Randolph. Go Randolph. Randolph, the, oh, we we're intimidating already. Okay, let's catch a Shinx. Uh, so it's a level three, so I'm gonna actually dip into my Pokemon. Oh, wait just a second. Actually, you know what I might, I might do? We will use a potion on, uh, use this item on Angry Boy. Angry Boy. And we'll let Shinx do its leer. You're so cute. I just want to rub your ear. I want to go boop boop on your ear. That's That makes sense. If you know what I'm talking about. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just let me know. Again, I don't know what type every Pokemon is, so if I'm making a mistake, like, the mistakes will happen. Mistakes will regularly happen. 
But now you gotta face Angry Boy. You don't wanna face Angry Boy. Who knows? Angry Boy might be a type of Pokemon that we keep in our quick quick attack. That we keep in our, our team forever. Because if it has a cool evolved form, then maybe that's what will happen. I'm gonna try and catch it now. But I'm worried that it won't work because we've already knocked it down its health by quite a bit. Please. Please. There we go. Four Pokemon. Nice. And we also grew up level in a few levels too. And we're also going to get right to a Pokemon Center too. So... A Shinx, all of its fur da dazzles in if danger is sensed. It flees while the foe is momentarily blinded. So it's an electric type, which is cool. It's cool to have an electric type so early in the game too. Um, yeah, cool. Would you like to give Shinx into him? Yes, let's think about this as well. So with Shinx... Uh, okay, let's think about this. Let's think about this because we want to like we want to give it a, a good nickname. Um... Somewhat. So it looks like a cat, right? Or it looks like kind of like a, a cat mouse or something. So I've been thinking about the name. I was thinking about cat names. There's an episode of Tasmania or the Tasmanian Devil, which is a cartoon I used to love when I was a kid, where his sister Molly had a cat. And it's a it's a horrifying episode because like this cat is terrifying. Um, so I think since it was Molly's cat, let's call it Molly. I caught Molly. I caught Molly. And now we're going into the town. Hey Dawn. Hi Cal, are you catching Pokemon? Wow, you've already got four Pokemon with you. At that pace, your Pokedex should be full in no time at all. Yeah, sh sure. In Jupe Life City, there's a trainer school, which, well, you know. Cal, you should visit it. You'll get some tips on Pokemon. Oh, yes, Benji went to the trainer school earlier. Okay, bye now. Sure thing. Look at these two, like, freaking Kageyama kids. I gave my Pokemon an item to hold before tightening it. That will make for the other trainer double happy. I'm trading Pokemon with my buddy. So in this world, the Pokemon game exists. Interesting. Interesting to know. What does it say? Jube Life City. City of Joy. Okay, great. Hello there, trainer. If you get stumped and don't know what to do, talk to people. Talk to everyone you see. Go places. Go wherever you can. You'll find many new places just by doing that. Pokemon are wonderful, deeply mysterious creatures. But to trainers, it seems the only thing that matters is battling. True, dude. Did you know? Some kinds of Pokemon evolve when they get stronger from battling. When they evolve, they can take on completely different appearances. I don't want to know, by the way, the evolved forms of Pokemon. I do not want to know. I just want to see them naturally. And whatever level they're going to be, I, I want to see it naturally. Evolution makes Pokemon just that much more fascinating. True. I'm kind of for sure, like, enjoying my time going through this world, though, and going through this game. It has been so far super, uh, super, super jolly. Let's heal our Pokemon up very quickly first. And now, like, since the last time we were here, Joy, well, actually, you're a different Joy. I know there's, like, multiple Joys, right? Just, like, there's multiple, um, there's multiple police officers, right? Thanks for waiting. We restored your Pokemon to full health. We hope to see you again. Thank you. In the local room upstairs, you can battle and trade with other people. He ran away very fast. You know how Pokemon have like types like water, fire, and grass? They say the types have strengths and weaknesses against other types. I'll see you. I'll believe it when I see it. You can still catch Pokemon if you already have six traveling with you. A new Pokemon can be sent to a Pokemon box. 
knowing that I can keep catching more and more and more Pokemon. It'll make more fun to check my boxes. True. So now, like, we have this, we're still on this, like, ep oh, here's the trainer school, right? Or is it trainer school, the first step for trainers? What's this? Are you stopping me from going somewhere? I'm so sorry, the GWS isn't ready yet. Okay, fair enough. It's your GWS. Oh, and, uh, there's people already here with us, like, our buddy. Benji. Hey, Cal, did you come to study too? I went ahead and memorized everything that was up on the blackboard. After all, it's the trainer's job to avoid having the precious Pokemon hurt in battle, right? So, Cal, what brings you here? You got something for me? Oh, yeah, we delivered the parcel. So, what is this? Score! It's a town map! Huh? Why are there two in here? I like it a lot, but I don't need two. Here, Cal, you take one. Maybe she was worried you might lose one. Hmm. Well, according to the town map, I guess Oreberg City is where I should be going next. There's a gym, so it'd be perfect for raising the Pokemon I just caught. Well, I'm on the road to becoming the greatest trainer of all time. See you around. Benji, I believe in you. You will beat me eventually. You just became a trainer, did you? You should look up the topics that you're not familiar with. I wrote an essay in my notebook on what makes a true Pokemon trainer. Pokemon are smart enough to use items they're holding, but they won't know what to do with the human-made items like potions and antidotes. You watching... I YouTube. We learn about Pokemon types today. Um, grass is weak to fire, fire is weak to water, and water is weak to grass. I think that's how it goes. Yeah, it's like a rock, paper, scissors format. It works. Battling is the best way to learn. Can we get a battle with you? Yes. Go, my Pokemon. Go. You're about to lose. Maybe not. Maybe he's t tougher than I'm expecting. Cool design. School kid hair. Oh, we're in the school as well. It's so cool. Abra, can I have it? Can I have the Abra? Will you give it to me? Give me the Abra and I won't hurt you. I mean, in Minecraft. I won't hurt you in Minecraft. Charge beam? That should be illegal. Look what happened there. See what happened there? See what happened here? But the thing is, like, with psychic types, so, like, I don't think they're, like... I don't think they're like weak to many things. I think well, is it is it dark that they're weak to? I could be wrong. Stop with the charge beam. Oh my god, Piblop! If you if you die here, I'm gonna blame this guy for sending out an Abra. That should be mine. No, it would be my fault for not letting. Uh, we we did it anyway. We beat him anyway. Like, I think, I think it's like... Oh, Thundershot, cool. Oh. Huh? Oh, did they animate the braces on his teeth? I think they did. That's like a really nice touch. It's hard to win if you don't have some Pokemon to choose from. That's true, you should get more Pokemon. But then again, I only beat you at one Pokemon as well. It was, a, it was a one Pokemon battle. Don't try to make excuses, okay? You don't want to try and make any excuses for yourself. I think if it's if it's any like any like any other Pokemon game, eventually we'll have so much money. I just became friends with my Pokemon. I'm not sure we can do this properly, but maybe battle. Of course. I need to try uh, the things I learned before I forget them. By the way, you guy over there, if I beat this girl, you give me your Abra. That's the way it goes. I don't make the rules. I want your Abra. Cool design. You're I I have no ill will towards you, Christine. You can keep Rabra. Okay, so we have water. So we're gonna do the same method we did last time. Charge beam? Where'd you learn that one? Did that guy teach you that? He's a bad influence, Christine. Don't don't let him sway you. Teach your Abra tackle and quick attack and like Leech life. Look what happened. Look what happened when you listen to him. Christine. After all I've taught you. Angry Boy grew to level 7. Molly grew to level 5. Well done, guys. School kid Christine. Christine. It's okay. I like to study a lot. I thought I could win. It's okay. Next time you'll get it.
We're actually confident that we would do pretty good, but I'm completely impressed by how tough you are. If you'd like to talk to my friend and get some technical machines from him. Is this him? Is this your friend? Phew, you're really good. We've been studying every day, but we're no match at all. You'd be able to use these technical machines properly. Here you go. You obtained TM10s. You put the TM10s in your bag and TM's pocket. If you boot up TM10, you can use it to teach work up to a Pokemon. A Pokemon that uses work up in battle will raise its attack and SP at the same time. But remember, TM is good for only one use. Don't waste it. Thank you guys. And I'm sorry for being mean to you. I was just upset because you're you're being a bad influence on my friend over here. Regardless, this is like, I don't know. Like, it's really fun. Like, sometimes I even forget, like, you know, you're playing a game. Who are you? Oh, you. You're a Pokemon trainer. But you don't have a poke poke Poketch yet. Poketch is short for Pokemon Watch. Oh my, you are a rare case indeed. You see, I invented and now manufacture poke catches. Not only that, I'm now conducting the poke catch promotional campaign. All you have to do is find three clowns in Jubilife City. If you can find them, I'll give you your very own poke catch. What three clowns? One. Two, lady won't let me into the shop place or whatever it is. Three. There. I found three clowns. Do we have to- Oh, there's one clown. Okay, that, that was way easier than I thought. I'm a Poké campaign clown. Let's roll out my question. Does a Pokémon grow by defeating others and getting XP points? Yes. Ding ding, you're absolutely correct. Pokémon grow stronger by defeating other Pokémon in battle. Some Pokémon even change into a different Pokémon through a process known as evolution. Here you go. Your Poké po po uh, coupon. <laughs> you obtained a coupon one. You put the coupon one in your bag's key items pocket. Thank you. Are you what are you? You have fighting type Pokémon? Jubilife City is built on the land carved out of the mountain. The people and the Pokémon of Auraburg City helped out with that undertaking. That's a really cool lore as well, though. Roarink. I went to the training school around here. Study there and you may come out stronger. I don't know about that. I know Pokemon just makes me really, like like I love this I love I love all the characters in this game I just like being like on need, like needlessly like snarky sometimes because it's fun. I'm a Pokedex campaign clown. Let's roll out my question. Can a Pokemon hold an item? Yes. A Pokemon may hold a single item. Some items become effective as soon as they are held by a Pokemon. Berries are eaten by Pokemon uh, by Pokemon as necessary during battle. Here you go. Here's a Pokedex po po I keep saying Pokemon. Coupon three. So there's one more clown. Clown. What's this? City of Joy, yeah. You gonna stop me, man? By the way, have you participated in the Poketch campaign? Not yet, right? You may, really must try. Yeah, I'm doing it right now, but I was, I was just checking if there was another clown there. Is there another clown hanging out here? Lady, if there's a clown over there and you're not letting me by there... We're gonna have trouble. We're gonna have words. I'm gonna get Benji after you. And you don't want Benji after you. The last time you went after someone. Who boy. Who boy, it was not pretty. Maybe he's in the shop. But I, I can't imagine they put him in the shop, though. I think he'd be out in the open. Uh, like the other ones. Uh, regardless. Let's buy some stuff. I'd like, yeah, I'd like a few Pokeballs. For sure. Three will do. We're not gonna be catching, like, a whole load of Pokemon. Uh, I'd also like some more potions for sure. Yeah, eight will do as well. It just makes sense. Thanks so much. No, that's fine. Thank you. Um. So we have this one over here. Is there one more clown over here? Yes, there is. Okay, great. Hi, I'm a Pokéch ca po campaign clown. Let's roll out my question. Just like uh, Pokémon, do the moves of Pokémon also have types? Yes. Yes. All these are yes questions. If a Pokémon's type matches the type of move it uses, that move is made much more powerful. Here you go, your Pokéch coupon. What is this building, sir? The Pokéch company, the Pokémon watches from for the world. So they make watches. Okay. I got your coupons, by the way, sir. Okay, let me count your coupons. I'll just pull out my poke HI here, and one, two, three, bravo, I say, bravo. In return for these coupons, I present you with this Pokemon watch, or poke for short. You received a poke -etch. 
You can add apps to your Poketch and make it even more versatile. Please press the R button and try it out. Press the R button to open your Poketch, control it by using the touchscreen, and hold down the R button to close it. Okay, cool. Thank you. Fair enough. So what is like, is there actually like stuff in here we can actually like explore? Or is it just gonna be something that's like kind of like a side thing or whatever? Oh, you can be sure I keep developing Poketch apps. Uh, just like Pokemon, my Poketch is something that evolves. So we have the town map is here now as well, which is good. Oh man, that's so cool to see. Look at this. We're going on an adventure. We're going on an adventure. And you can check the time. You can, there's a calculator. There's even a, a cool number. There's your Pokemon. That's so cool. I like that a lot. And like, if you want to, you can like, wait, should we? How do I get it out from the corner? Maybe it just disappears after a second. How do I get the oh no. It's like we're calling for binders. Okay. Okay. We try to think like trainers when we develop new Poketch apps. The user satisfaction is what we're after. I mean, I can see that for sure. <gasps> oh, can I have this one? Cle that's a Clefairy, okay. Pokemon Watch or Pokech for short says it's a long way. Uh, it's like the long way. What does Pokemon stand for again? Anyway, I'm the father and president of the Pokech company. The founder. Or does he say father? Sometimes I get too excited and I, I jumble my words. My husband is the president. We started out in a small workshop where he made whatever he liked. Now we're making something that makes the world happy. Imagine that. What do you think, little kid? Do you have a Pokech? There are two models, each in different color. People have already made Pokech apps. You'll be able to get new apps from surprising sources. The PCs here have guides on the various Pokech apps. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make an effort to sometimes play at night. That's what I'm going to try and do. And I know it's going to be a little more difficult, but like I feel like for the playthrough it might be more fun as well. To like try and play it at both times in, 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 during the day. Like not just play during the day, you know what I mean? I'll make- I'll, I'll try my best at the very least. And with that, we're gonna end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully I'll figure out how to get this off the screen next time. <laughs> and I'll see you all very soon. Get up with- oh wait. You press and hold it.